Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome to Let's Play Kirby Planet Robobot for the Nintendo 3DS. This game just came out in Japan a few days ago. To be specific, it came out April 28th in Japan and it doesn't come out uh, in America and in the UK for like another month or so. So today I thought I would play this game for you guys. I was essentially going to wait to play this game until it came out in English. But then I remembered that I had a Japanese 3DS capture card that I never used because there's really no purpose for me to use it anymore. So I was like, let me go ahead and download this game and play it for you guys. Considering that last year I did a Japanese playthrough of Mario Party 10. And the year before that we did a Japanese playthrough of Super Smash Bros. Uh, 3DS and then we also played through uh, Hyrule Warriors for the Wii U so it's only fitting that we're playing you know for the third year in a row a Japanese game and today it's going to be Kirby Planet Robobot which is a pretty exciting game I mean, I mean I've seen a little bit of gameplay on this and it looks a lot like Kirby Triple Deluxe which is a game that I actually enjoyed playing so this is definitely gonna be fun I have no idea what it's asking me to do right now but that's the exciting part, right? You're not knowing what they're saying. Hey, they want me to put a me. The only word I recognized there was me. You know, downloading this thing was kind of a, a hassle because I had to update my 3DS, which I didn't know how to do because obviously it's in Japanese. So I actually downloaded an app on my iPhone and it actually you use your camera and it reads the Japanese words and it kind of translates them as you go. You just kind of have to hover with it. It's not accurate at all by any means, but I mean, it gave me a pretty good, you know, um, I guess understanding of what it wanted me to do and it took a little bit until I figured it out and then I figured out how to update the 3DS and it was saying something about how my 3DS was dead and that's why I couldn't update it and I didn't really understand it until you know a few times in I'm like oh I gotta let it charge for a little bit but anyways if you guys are excited about this please do me a favor and drop a like on this video it's been a while since we've had like a LP that isn't Mario Kart so this is going to be the main LP on the channel until we complete it you know from what I've seen it's a pretty short easy game to play through and we're starting off this thing I guess in uh and in, in the land, in the skies of Dreamland is what it is, right? This is it. The skies of Dreamland, and we're being invaded by. Oh man, what is this? King Diddy D and Waddle D. Look at that. This looks so cool for a 3DS game. It's so cinematic. Looks much better than anything I've seen on 3DS for sure. Hey, it's Meta Knight. What are you doing? And you have the wonderful tree of. Uh, hey, it's Kirby. He's just napping, you know, in his shade. Is that the shade of whoa? I don't know what that is, man. I don't even know the, the, the story about this thing. Apparently, I don't know, something's gonna invade uh, the the dreamland and just robots. So Kirby has to use his powers to defeat these robots or whatnot. So that's, that's what, from my understanding, I mean, hence the name, Kirby Planet Robobot. But then again, I could be wrong. Wow, this is gorgeous for a 3DS game. Like, I am not even kidding. You guys could be the judges of it too. It looks so good. Especially on the little 3DS that I'm playing on. I mean, maybe it's because the screen is smaller, it just looks better. I don't know. I always tend to find smaller screens to look better and sharper in quality than it would if it were projected on a much bigger screen. But hey, there goes Meta Knight's ship crashing down. It's much tinier than that UFO or whatever it is that's invading the land of Dreamland. Kirby, wake up. You have some, you have some business to attend to. Run. Yep, your entire land, your entire world has been overtaken by, by planets. Or I guess robots, not planets. That's the wrong word. But this is exciting. It reminds me of uh, Dragon Ball Z Cooler's Revenge when they went to Namek and it was just taken by a huge thing. Uh, and that was cooler. So I guess this is the first world that we have to go into. I don't know how the overworld's going to look. Could be similar to... Oh, it's actually very similar to, uh, to Kirby's Return to Dreamland, I think. But yeah, here we go. The first level of the game. The beauty about this game is there's really no story to it in terms of like text or whatnot. So you don't need to play it necessarily in English to understand what's happening. And this, by the way, is a first time playthrough. So let me just figure out the controls. So that is to jump. That is to absorb. That's to block. Both of these are to block. And then, and that's to go down. Okay, so I'm thinking you can ground pound, but you can't. I don't know why. This isn't smash. Hey, what is this? So it's going to teach us. Okay, that's how to jump. That's awesome. It actually gives us a tutorial. How do you hit, man? Oh, there we go. So you just... Oh, he doesn't even attack. Oh, because he's regular Kirby. Duh. Silly me. I forgot about that. Regular Kirby is pretty much as useless as... Uh, I would say an ant, but an ant, ants are pretty useful. Wait. Oh, I don't want to absorb that Waddle, waddle D. That's, we're too good for him, right? I want to absorb this guy because... Nope, he doesn't even have any power-ups either. All right. Boom. Die. There we go. 
So, when are we gonna get some power-ups? Oh! Can I attack these guys? Probably not, because they're like, in different sides of the screen. Oh, it wants me to down A. Oh, okay. So, you're not only- oh, no, never mind. I was gonna say, you can't just use the, the circle stick. You have to use the D-pad too, but that's, in fact, incorrect, because you can use the circle pad and or the D-pad. Your liking, man. Doesn't matter which you prefer to do. And that is some food. You know, as you guys know, Kirby loves his food. There we go. Feet thunder with thunder. Okay, sorry about that. I don't know why I just started coughing for some reason. It just came out of nowhere. Surprised me, but... As I was saying, defeat thunder with thunder, or electricity with electricity, depending on whatever that was. Uh, and then just continue on. I really like the first worlds of Kirby games. I mean, Kirby games in general are always just so much fun to play. They're not hard by any means. <clears throat> I remember I had a little bit of struggle with uh, Kirby Triple Deluxe, but I was just kind of like messing around when I was playing the game. I wasn't really trying to play like, you know, to my best of ability. It's just Kirby games are just, you know, casual games. You go through them and, and you just have a good time, you know? You don't really struggle on anything. And from what I've seen, honestly, this game does look like it's pretty easy. Which is good, I guess. I mean, there might be a difficulty change at the end of the game where they either... Like, can I get rid of this? I wonder how I can get rid of this power-up. Um, oh, that's cool. I could do that too. I want to absorb that Waddle Dee to see if I can get whatever robot power he has. Because, I mean, this is a power-up that we've had before in Kirby games. So, I mean, it's not like it's anything special. Uh, oh, there we go. I figured it out. And there we go. We're Link at Kirby, my favorite. I love this guy. I mean, come on. Who doesn't want to be a swordsman? Everybody wants to be a swordsman. If I could go back in time and be anything, I'd probably be a swordsman. You know, just like Link. You know, with a horse and everything. Oh, what do you want me to do? You want me to... You want me to dash? Oh, yeah. There we go. See? This game's teaching us everything. First episode, the tutorial. And, you know, usually people don't like tutorials, but in today's case, I'm actually really enjoying this tutorial. It's, it's helping me out a lot. A lot more than I thought it would, because... You know, I don't know everything, and that's a fact. Alright, let me get rid of this power-up. Uh, I think... Oh, never mind. I could just use this. There we go. Suck on that. I wanted to get the fire power up, but I guess today we're not going to become a firebender, at least for now. Hey, Waddle D, are you my friend today? Oh, he is my friend. He's going to give us some cherries, but it's it's in, in, encased in a... Uh, wait, what does that mean? What does that mean? It's probably... This is definitely a new power up in the game, like that cherry. I don't know if I want to use it now. I mean, I'll probably save it just in case there is a boss or something, you know? Just in case. Who ne You never know. But yeah. Again, moving on to the next room. I'm, I feel like I'm skipping over a ton of things. Do not expect this to be a 100% playthrough. There's probably somebody out there on the internet that's done a full 100% well, you know, played guide of this game. So you go watch him or try to find that if you're trying to beat this game 100%. But, uh-oh. Oh, man. Probably not a good idea. And I don't have any power-ups. I'm just gonna hit him like this with whatever I get. Projectiles. Or, you know what? I feel like I'm supposed to maybe shoot missiles back at him. That's probably what it is. Oh, no, 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 no. Not today, man. Not today, you psycho tree. Planting yourself literally into the ground. No pun intended there, you know, because it's a tree and usually they plant themselves into the ground. Or trees are, for the most part, planted. Alright, can I, can I just... I don't even notice if this guy has a health bar or not. He probably doesn't. This is probably one of those things where you have to just, you know, wait it out and then you beat the guy eventually at one point. All right, let's see. Shoot some, shoot something at me. Shoot something at me. No! Dude, you screwed me up. Get in there. Get in there. A maximum tomato. Yeah, so it doesn't even look like I could have killed him if I wanted to. He's just the big bad boss of World 1 that we're probably going to have to come back to later on and defeat him. What is this? You think this is a power-up? I don't know. Let's find out. I can't even get this somehow. I don't even know if it's floating in the area that Kirby's in. It doesn't look like it. When you turn 3D on? Whoa. That is so weird. I don't even know it did that. Okay. Probably not something I want to do when I'm playing this game for you guys. Turn 3D on. There it is. Yeah, I knew it was uh, going to be this way. So what did we get? A cube. A robotic cube. Or something. One out of one. Which... I don't know what it does, but we're just going to assume that it's something very valuable that we needed. And we're going to pat ourselves on the back. And there it is! The very first door beating World 1. <clears throat> or I guess the first level of World 1. Hey, this is cool. It's just like uh, the other Kirby games. I'm going to try to get a very far rank. Oh, yeah. 
four, three, two, and we almost made it to one. No, 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 don't fall, dude. There we go. They always try to trick you, making you think that Kirby's gonna slip and fall off, but that's never the case. He never just falls. And we got a lot of food. There we go. So what does that mean? New what? What did we do? You know, it'll be fun to play this game in English, too, because I'm gonna play it for the first time in Japanese, of course, and then when I play it for the second time, I'm gonna realize, hey, I didn't notice any of these things, and it'll be like a fun new adventure for me again, except an adventure that I'm kind of aware of what I'm doing instead of going into it blind, but <clears throat> still, this is the second level here in the game. We're now, I guess, exiting Dreamland, sort of. The nice, uh, grasslands of Dreamland, which is always the best parts of, you know, Kirby games is playing through that. Get some dandelions, or activate some of these flowers. Doesn't look like there's anything nice here for me to absorb yet. The game isn't generous enough. Hey, it's a Waddle Dee. I don't want to get this. I mean, it's the parasol, but I guess it'll do me some wonders. Oh. Oh, no, no, no. I wanted to... Can he not attack up? Nope. Like, it doesn't look like it. He only has, like, one motion of attack. Okay. Well, that's, uh... That's not very exciting. These guys are pretty plain and simple. At least he can hover down like that, which is very cool. I mean, maybe if there's a part in the game where we can hover down and... Oh, what the heck? Those things just explode. They're like the bob bombs of, uh... Of this game. Alright, we got the firepower up, which is what I wanted. Hey, I'll take this cherry. This proves to come in handy. It's, uh... It's a cherry that restores your health, I guess. And there it is, the boss. Either swordsman or firebender. Oh, What do we have here? We have robots. A ton of them. I'm telling you, man, this is just like Cooler's Revenge. All those fake coolers. Wait, what? We're only supposed to fight one of these things? When there was like a billion? This is crazy. Alright, this is it. The first boss, guys. Oh man. Oh, he 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 completely ruined me, didn't he? Oh, uh, oh, how about Oh no! Suck on that. Suck on that. And I'm gonna take this. And I'm gonna finish him off with my firepower. There we go. A lot easier than he looked. But maybe that means I can now absorb this. Or maybe I can get into it. <gasps> oh man. Look at that, dude. Kirby's got some newly refound powers. Just by stepping into the robot, he's now, oh my goodness, transformed into something awesome. Oh, I love the music too. This is some nice music. I dig it. Wait, what did he just do? Wait, what? Even my robot can have power-ups? Yo, this is amazing. Look at that. I can shoot fire now instead of electricity is what we were doing. And I leave a trail of fire behind me. This is amazing, dude. And he just ripped open through that garage cage or door. He just like lifted it, tore it open. Look at that. Dude, this game looks gorgeous too. I love it. I feel like, I think it's 60 FPS, honestly. Oh, now, okay, that makes sense. I was wondering, you know, how we were going to go about defeating those things if even we could. But it definitely makes sense now. I just had to be patient and, and wait it out to see if I could. I wonder if I hit that, if it'll actually affect me or not. All right, you want me to hit X? What does X do? Oh, X gets rid of my power up. Okay, that makes sense. So if I want to exchange my power up, all I got to do is click X and then, for example, absorb his power up. And now I'm electric, which I don't know if I like. I feel, oh, and I can hover with this thing. What? Yo, that is so cool. What's up, Diglets? These are the Diglets of the Kirby game. You got, you got Mario uh, related enemies, sort of, and you got Pokemon, sort of, in this game. It's pretty nice, you know, the best of both worlds, as some would say. What is this? So it wants me to... Hey, I learned how to do that by myself. I didn't need your instructions to tell me. But thanks anyways for letting me know. I'm going to take your power up now. And now we're, we're, we're cutters. We can cut stuff. We can slice stuff. That's pretty awesome. Pretty sadistic, I have to say, but pretty awesome. The way we were slicing through that dude, that tree. I feel bad for them. I mean, they didn't deserve any punishment like this. And now we got to rotate this thing. Oh, this is cool. Literally, everything is just so robotic in this game. Hence the name, Kirby Planet Robot, Robobot. All right, Bomber. I should have used that bomb power up. I, I probably, I'll probably find another one. Okay, what do you want me to do? You want me to, to oh, spin this. Ah, oh, that's cool. I like that. Just moved it over here. Okay. Sound like a little kid, dude. It's like, I'm, I'm so amazed by everything in this game. Everything that has, oh man, look at this. Oh, look at that. 
But I guess that's how it is. I mean, when you're playing a game that's exciting for the first time, that's just... That's how you act, you know? It's always nice, you know, to experience games like that. There we go. There we go. Move that. Alright, you want me to fly like this up here? Alright, let me get rid of this. Actually, you know what? Let's keep it. Let's keep it for just a little bit more. Alright. Oh, no! It's gone! I can't use it anymore! But you know what? It was fun. Also, those cubes look like they're collectibles that I have to collect. I mean, apparently that's what it looks like. Oh, I should have I should have uh, took this power up, honestly. What's up, mushrooms? Now, these are the toads. It's crazy, man. It's like every time I see something, it reminds me of something Mario related. Hey, you guys have little cute uh, robots yourself. That's pretty nice. Oh, man. I, I kind of expected that to happen, but stupid cannon. Those are the bullet bills back there. Literally, everything I see, I'm going to try to reference Mario somehow. Or something Nintendo related. And those are the big cannons that you see from Mario. Alright, get out of the way, Mushroom. Sorry, little toad dude. That's what you get for oh, trying to hurt me. Alright, there's another robot thing right here. Let me go ahead and use it. I feel like I should probably use my cherry, but I'm going to wait just in case. Just in case I do run into an enemy that I can't defeat. Alright, there we go. Oh, okay. No, 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 I didn't want the sword, but actually, no, I did want the sword. Oh, this is so cool. It's like that gigantic Kirby sword from Kirby's Return to Dreamland. This is so awesome. I wonder if this game is co-op. I didn't even bother looking it up or checking out if it was co-op or not. It probably is. It probably has, like, some co-op aspects to it, but I can't wait, you know, for the main 3DS uh, Kirby. I mean, that would be cool. I guess we had the Wii U kind of version, or the Wii version of a Kirby game. That was co-op, so I can't really complain. And that is it, guys. The final door, I believe. This is it. The final room, I'm pretty sure. There we go. Oh, okay. We can now unscrew things. This is awesome. Dude, so many things we can do in this game that we didn't know of. Oh, and spin this way. So we're literally our own handyman. We could do anything we wanted. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Go like this. Uh, there we go. Wait, so what was I supposed to do? Am I supposed to go like... Ah! Okay, I was gonna say, if it was like full 3D, that would have been amazing. Give me this thing. Get out of here, dude. Trying to ruin my groove. I'm gonna slash you all. I'm gonna destroy you guys. Because that's what I do. I used my cherry on accident. I don't know if I wanted to use it now. Probably not a good thing that I did that, but oh well. Unless it automatically just disappears. I can't remember if I did use it or not, honestly. Um, and what do you want me to do? You want me to just put this here? Alright, bye-bye, robot. You were fun to use while, while, while we could, but you know what? Everything good must come to an end. Or wait. Can I go back and use it? That's just an optional door. Probably not really worth going into. Or maybe it is. I don't know. What does it want me to do here? Like, straight up, what am I supposed to do here? Maybe I'm supposed to go back and get my robot. I mean, that would make mo the most sense, right? Get out of the way. Give me give me these fries. I'll take those. All right, let me go back and get this thing. Hmm. Okay, maybe not. Maybe I'm supposed to just go up here. I don't know then why they would put that there. It makes you think that you're supposed to just let it go, but apparently that's not the case. There we go. Wow, just even stomping on this guy does so much damage. All right, yeah, we were supposed to definitely use this guy. All right, take me up, elevator. Crank me up all the way up here. Dang, now I'm actually kind of upset. I mean, I don't even know how to get in that room. I, I should have tried to figure out how to get in the room, but... Oh, well, it's all good. We made it to the end, guys, and this time I'm going to try to get a one. Come on, let's do it. Oh, no, maybe that's going to give me one. Maybe not. Let's find out. Hopefully it gives me a one, a two, and... Oh, man, I guess you have to get a perfect bar to get a one or something. But we did it! We still got a 2, and we're probably gonna get some stars, and we're gonna get a 1-up, and we got some extra stuff. That's always the beauty about this game, they give you some extra stuff towards the end of it. And that is it! I don't know what that is, it's a battery sign. And we got more stickers. Oh man, don't tell me this is like Nintendo games all over again when it comes to stamps and whatnot. But we did it guys! That is going to actually be it for the first episode. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to make two or three levels tops per episode. But because this was kind of the introduction to the game, uh, we're just gonna end it off here. I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to drop a like, and I can't wait to see you guys tomorrow for more Kirby uh, Planet Robot. Robobot. Whatever it's called. Anyways, thanks for watching. Peace.